Hello everyone, welcome to today's Novage webinar. Design a kitchen in 30 minutes with a high house. So designing a kitchen professionally has never been easier and you'll find out why today. After you watch this demo of AI House basic workflow, you will see some of its powerful customization modules, such as styling, cabinet, and ceiling to quickly design a kitchen scene. And you will learn how to render an image and a panorama with photorealistic quality in less than five minutes. I kid you not. Today's webinar presenter, Alice Yang, has been with AI House for uh, two years and he has helped bring in this incredible software to interior designer and furniture business in 11 countries. And he's also working on uh, several projects uh, that whose aim is to integrate AI House with um, real estate and e-commerce. Very exciting things, so stick around. Uh, I want to show you where you can find AI House on Novage. Just go to novage.com, search for AI House, and um, very easy. And uh, we're always available if you want to talk to us. We will have all the inform extra information you need. So give us a call or write us anytime. There, you know, we have people waiting to. Um, assist you. And now without further ado, I'm going to pass the screen to Alice and AI House. Take it away, Alice. Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, thank you for attending this webinar. I'm Alice Young. Uh, I am the head of uh, international business uh, developing team of AI House. So uh, what you're looking at, uh, AI House Cloud Design Software, is actually a, uh, an incredibly efficient interior design software that can also render 4K visualizations in minutes, in only a few minutes. So uh, I'm going to walk you through the major features of our software, and then I'm going to quickly design a kitchen scene in less than uh, 30 minutes to uh, show you uh, how power, powerful our software is. And then uh, we can also take some questions. Okay, so first of all, AI House is a completely cloud built. Okay, let me hide this. So AI House is a completely cloud based software. All you need to do is to go to uh, AIHouse.com and then sign up for an account. Log in, after logging into your cloud, click start to design. And then the software will load. Just give it a uh, few seconds, very fast. So you can actually use this software uh, anywhere you want, as long you, as you have a, a laptop or a PC. So just give it a few more seconds. It's gonna be ready. Okay, so this would be the design interface. So first of all, um, Working on a floor plan is very easy in AI House. Uh, there are several ways you can do it. First of all, for example, you can import a, if you have a CAD drawing of your floor plan, you can import it to AI House. So I'm importing a DXF file. And just like that, you have your floor plan ready in AI House. You can convert it to 3D instantly just by clicking 3D, okay? You can also use our roaming mode to get inside the scene to check on all the details, just like that, very easily. And another way is that you can also import a picture, okay? A JPEG picture, for example. So if I have, for example, I have a sketching of a floor plan here, okay? Our AI can recognize this picture and then recreate it in AI House in 3D. All I need to do is to confirm on the scale. I'm sorry, I'm using metric, okay? But you can always switch to uh, imperial units uh, in our system. Click confirm. And then there you go, give it a few seconds. And just like that, I have the floor plan ready. Our AI recognizes uh, this floor plan and then recreated it successfully. 
And once again, I can use the roaming mode to get inside the scene to take a look. All right. Uh, and of course, you can also draw the floor plan uh, however you want it. Okay, it's very easy actually. You can type in the numbers or you can just uh, draw it this way, draw it however you want it. And of course, I can put in a lot of different elements inside, for example, doors, uh, windows, columns, uh, beams. Okay, so if I take a look at it, so it looks like this. And of course, I can always uh, adjust my floor plan uh, or resize the assets inside. And another feature is that uh, we have a huge design templates library, okay? There are several hundred design templates uh, in our library. So in case you need some inspiration or some ideas, you can always get inside and take a look at them. So for example, I'm going to open this design template. Give it a few seconds. And this is actually a very convenient feature for interior designers because you can uh, just open a design template and then you can, for example, resize the floor plan uh, and change the things uh, inside the scene according to your, your needs. Okay, this would be our design template. So you can actually manipulate all the elements, all the assets inside. For example, uh, I, can, I can delete this. I can move things inside very easily. Okay, freely, move it freely. And also I can uh, resize them. All right, I can make them larger. For example, let's type in 3000 millimeter, just like that. And I can also, uh, it all, it also has a very convenient uh, convenient material editor built inside, all right? So for example, if I wanna change the material of this bed, it's very easy. I, I can also change it to uh, another model, for example. So let's uh, use this model. And then if I click on edit material here, you can enter a very simple uh, material editor interface, okay? So that you can further customize uh, the elements inside. For example, let me change the material of, of this area to uh, leather. Hold on, let's put it here. Okay, just like that, yeah. It has been changed to leather. I can zoom in to take a look. Yeah, just like that and click save. So, uh, uh, so you can, you can uh, so it's, it can be very convenient for designers because you can get inside these scenes and uh, quickly uh, change them and work, work on your projects, okay. So um, another feature, major feature is that we have many, we have over 30 million 3D models inside our library, okay? So you can basically find anything uh, in our library, uh, 3D models and uh, 2D textures, all right? So for example, if I wanna change this floor to another, uh, to another texture, I can do it like this. Yeah, and so you can, also you can find a lot of different furnitures here. Over 30 million, okay. And this number is actually pushing uh, 40. I can also rotate the texture. So basically I can do anything inside. Okay, the third major feature is that uh, we have many different customized, uh, different modules that allows you to customize storage combination, uh, ceiling, uh, flooring, so uh, I'm just going to quickly design a kitchen scene, okay, in, uh, at a, in a very short time, and then I'm going to render it so that you can see uh, the rendered results very quickly. So I'm just going to open uh, a project that I stored inside my personal library. Okay, so this would be the floor plan. I'm going to work on it 
uh, we have some predefined uh, lightings inside, but yeah, never mind. Okay, so uh, first of all, I'm going to design a, uh, quickly design a kitchen layout, cabinet layout here. Okay, so all I need to do is to get into this kitchen customization module, and then I can, uh, <coughs> And here you can find all, all types of different storage units. So for example, if I need a fueler, yeah, and you can see that the, the workflow is mostly just drag and drop, okay. And then for example, I can add another, another storage units like, another storage unit like this here, and then, like another one here and another one here. I can also resize them. For example, I'm gonna make it a little bit wider and then I am, oh, sorry, let's put this one here, make it slightly larger. and put this one here, it is slightly larger. And another amazing thing is that uh, all the units, they will automatically adjust its size according to uh, the surrounding, according to the environment. For example, if I drag this, uh, let's say, uh, let's say this drawer, this cabinet unit with drawer here, you can see that uh, its width is 600 millimeter, but if I drag it to here, it's gonna automatically adjust its size, okay, to 562 millimeters, just like that. So all the workflows are very uh, intuitive and convenient. So I've finished the bottom. Uh, I'm going to uh, add something on the wall. So let's add another feeler. Make it against the wall. Once again, I can make it taller, make it deeper. Okay, and then uh, I am going to add a unit like this. A lot of different categories for you to choose from. Okay, once again, it automatically adjusts its size according to its surroundings. <coughs> And then I am going to add another one here. Make it a bit larger. And then perhaps uh, a different style here. A little bit larger. And then another one for my cooker hood. Here. make it a little smaller and add another one here, then I am done with the layout of my storage combination. Okay, let's save this. So from here, I can add uh, a lot of kitchen appliances very easily. All I need to do is to right click on it, click kitchen appliance. Once again, we have a library for that. And for example, let me add a, maybe a dishwasher here. Okay, let's go with this one. And just like that, you got a dishwasher generated. I can, of course, you can also change the size of it. Uh, I can also add a, let's say an oven here very quickly. Just go to the oven library and just like that. And I can also add a kitchen sink Okay, I can add a sink. Let's go with this style. All right, I can also uh, choose a faucet, a tap. I'm just gonna stick with this one. And then I can also choose some accessories to uh, go with it. Let's choose this one. And just like that, you got a sink. Okay, so I can also add my stove and cooker hood here. Just go to, once again, right click. And then you have a library for that also. 
and I can add a cooker hot, uh, cooker hood accordingly, just like that. And I can also adjust their positions very easily. For example, I'm gonna make it a little lower. All right, probably not enough. Or maybe 550. Okay, just like that. I can also make it uh, go left or go right by playing with these uh, parameters. So I have the appliances and some hardwares. So from here, I can also change the style of my uh, of my uh, kitchen cabinets very easy. Right click. And there are a lot of different uh, door, a lot of different panel styles for you to choose from in our library. A lot of different categories. I'm just gonna go with my favorite. And just like that. Okay. And from here, I can also change the material of my cabinets and doors very easily. For example, I'm going to change all of them to, uh, okay. Uh, once again, a huge library for, uh, for you to choose from, okay? I'm just gonna go with my favorite, just like that. I can also change the other materials, uh, the other areas to the same material, for example, just like that. And of course I can add more flavor to it. I can customize the material however I want it actually. For example, if I want to uh, make the, the bottom the bottom part to a make it I then change them to a different material. I can just use control and select on all of them. Okay. And then change them to a different color. I am going to change it to blue. Just like that. And, we'll, and I'm gonna just keep adding keep changing, keep making some changes. For example, I'm gonna make these two units to uh, orange, just like that. And the rest is actually quite easy, okay? So for example, I can also uh, change the handle to this style, okay? Just like that. And from here, I can also add a, a countertop to it. Uh, I'm gonna add uh, uh, the moldings and the toe kicks later, okay? So I'm just gonna add a countertop first. <coughs> I can change, I can uh, customize the style, uh, uh, the size and the texture of the countertop, uh, but I've been, I'm just gonna use the default one, okay? Just click generate. And just like that, you have a storage combination generated very quickly. And another amazing thing is that you don't need to add the kitchen props one by one. You don't need to add the bowls, plates, uh, pots inside your scene one by one. All you need to do is to use our smart decoration function. And then there are a lot of different styles you can choose from. I'm just gonna go with what the AI uh, recommended to me. Click OK, and then our AI will generate all kinds of the kitchen props for you. Yeah, and of course, if you are not liking some of the uh, the elements inside, you can always delete them. Okay, I, once again, you can manipulate them however you want it, okay? I'm just gonna delete this one, all right? So another thing uh, is that uh, I'm gonna add another storage combination here, but I'm not gonna uh, do it one by one, okay? I'm just going, to, so uh, you can actually, for example, after you finish the design of this storage combination, you can actually group them together and save it in your personal library. Oh, this one looks a little weird. And store them in your personal library. So for example, I already have something stored in my personal library. I'm just gonna, uh, drag it out to this scene. And of course, uh, uh, 
you can uh, ungroup it. You can always ungroup it and then uh, make changes to it according to your needs. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to generate a countertop on this one also. Go with the default one. Yeah, just like that. And of course, I can add uh, I can add moldings and uh, toe kicks very easily. Once again, I can change the size, the dimensions of them, and then I can choose the style of my molding. And you can also choose the texture, but I'm go gonna go with the default one first. Okay. And just like that, I have the molding. And of course, I can also install uh, the toe kicks. I can choose a style. Let's go with this one. And I'm going to change its size a little. Okay. And after that, I can just use uh, our material painter to make sure all the textures are consistent. All right. Just like that. I'm going to make this one blue. And just like that, I have finished the storage combination in my kitchen scene. Okay, and this is only a small part of uh, our functions. Okay, there are actually so many, so much more to it. And then I'm go, I am going to briefly introduce, uh, demonstrate what you can do in our tiling, in our flooring module. Okay, so for example, I'm going to demonstrate it on this wall. Just go into our tiling module. And then if I'm going to design on this wall, I can double click on it and then enter the canvas. I'm going to hide the furniture first. So uh, first thing you see that uh, is that we actually have a lot of different paving tile floor floor paving paving formats inside our library. OK, you also have uh, we also have like double tile combination, multiple tile combination, and you can just use them drag and drop just like that. And I can also quickly switch, uh, change the texture, change the material. For example, I'm going to change it to, uh, let's say, this marble, just like that. And I can also uh, do a lot of manipulation. I can change its size. I can uh, uh, change the the width of the the seam between the, uh, the, the tiles. I can also rotate them. For example, if I want to rotate them to 55 degree, that's also okay. I can also change the thickness, okay? But here, I'm just gonna go with something simple today. Let's use this one. I'm gonna change the size of it and I'm gonna go with this uh, marble texture. Just like that. And another thing is that you can also uh, draw different areas so that you can pave in only a certain area or you can apply multiple different paving formats in one one space for example i only want to pave in this area okay so all i need to do is to draw a rectangle here and then pave in this area just like that this is our tiling module and once again there are actually so much more to it this is only a small part of the functions, okay? And then I'm going to quickly demonstrate what you can, what you can do with our ceiling module, all right? And I'm just going to quickly design a, uh, design a second layer to this ceiling. So enter our ceiling module, uh, double click on the ceiling to enter the interface. So I'm just going to quickly design a second layer to it. Change the parameters a little. And just like that, I have added a extra layer to the ceiling very easily. Let's save this. And the rest is quite easy. I'm just going to finish this scene and uh, render it, okay? So uh, I'm just go to I'm just gonna go to my personal library. Oh, first of all, let's add another storage unit here. 
So it's not only just uh, kitchen cabinets, you can also work on bathroom cabinets, uh, wine cabinets, TV cabinets, all kinds of different things you want. And we also have a lot of different storage combinations uh, in our library. So you can actually drag them out and work on them also. So I'm just gonna use something from my personal library. I'm just gonna, once again, drag and drop. Okay, and then I'm gonna add some furniture to the scene. You can use our huge library or use your personal library. You can also upload your uh, max file, a max model or SKP models. I'm gonna go to kitchen and then I'm gonna get uh, at a dining set, a dining combination, slightly adjust them. I'm gonna add a something like a heater. Okay, this looks great. And another one here. And let's change the floor a little bit. And we are done. Let's save it. And then I'm going to render a, an HD image and a panorama, okay? So click render. This is our rendering interface. So in AI House, you can render uh, four different kinds of resolutions, SD, HD, UHD, and 4K. So I'm just gonna render HD today because uh, it uh, will take lesser time. So to render in HD, it only takes uh, around two to three minutes. Render 4K, it will take around five minutes. So this is actually very, very fast. So all I need to do is to adjust the camera angle first. Make sure it's nothing's blocking my side. And you can also uh, edit your uh, camera here. For example, uh, its angle, its height. You can also edit the lighting here, but I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go with the default lighting today. You can also uh, edit the outside scene. So after, so when I'm ready, I, all I need to do is to click on submit, and then the render will be. Uh, the render request would be submitted to our cloud servers. So during this process, you can actually close the window, close your computer, and it's not gonna affect anything. The next time you log into, uh, log into your account, you will see the rendering result. So from here, you can see the rendering progress, okay? And you can see that uh, it's already uh, in progress and it's very fast. I can also render a panorama. I'll just go, Go to uh, the center of my scene. Yeah, let's go with this angle. You can render 4K or 6K. I'm gonna go with 4K. And once again, it's gonna take maybe three to five minutes. Click on submit. And just like that, it's in progress. You can see that the rendering is very, very fast. And of course, uh, you can also, uh, you can also uh, export a lot of 2D documents, okay? For example, while we are waiting, I'm just gonna show you this feature. You can generate some C uh, CAD drawings, some elevation drawings, and all you need to do is to make a few clicks. Okay, for example, if I wanna get Okay, I just export uh, the elevation drawings of my cabinets. Okay, I'm just gonna and I'm and then I have exported a DWG file. I'm I'm just gonna use a cat viewer to open it. And just like that, you can see these are the elevation drawings of your cabinets, okay? With only a few clicks. You can also export a quotation. You can download it, uh, for example, if you want a quotation of the kitchen, you can uh, use 
uh, this quotation function, and then you can download it as a uh, Excel file, and it's going to look like this. All the different panels, uh, all the different units, the textures you have used, the accessories you have used. Okay. And you can also, uh, for example, let me just uh, let me just use this scene. We're just going to get into another scene. Let's use. Let's use this one with more furnitures. You can also, uh, basically you can uh, generate a shopping list, okay? A very detailed shopping list for your clients. So I'm just gonna uh, open this scene with more furnitures inside. Give it a few seconds. And then when we are done uh, demonstrating this part, I think the renderings will all be ready. And once again, if, even if you render 4K, it's only gonna take less than five minutes. <clears throat> okay, let's get inside this scene. Uh, I'm not sure if it's, oh, okay. Yeah, I thought something's wrong with my internet. Okay, that's great. Yeah, so uh, for example, go to list again and go, go to uh, the quotation. And just like that, you can see a very detailed shopping list, a quotation in this scene, and you can add them, okay? The quantity, uh, the price. And then once again, you can download it as an Excel file right here a very very uh, convenient tool so let's check on our renderings so let's check on the hd rendering first so this would be the hd rendering okay if you render it uh, render them in 4k it will look even more amazing and you can download it to your computer okay and let's check on the panorama So this would be a 4K panorama. And it, I think it took less than, less than two minutes to finish. It's gorgeous. Like yes, it's a 720 degree panorama. And we can actually do more than that. And I'm going to show you uh, very quickly. So I'm just gonna uh, show you some, let's say some, some 4K pictures rendered in the AI house. Let's open this one. Okay, this would be a 4K rendered in AI house by one of our user in Philippines. And you can see the details are amazing. And this is, an, this is another one. Beautifully rendered. And also, you can actually uh, add a lot of panoramic walkthroughs, okay? Not only you can generate panoramas, you can also add some walkthroughs. So for example, uh, actually Kohler, a, uh, a very famous bathroom, uh, bathroom furniture brand, uh, they have been using our software. And this is actually one of the scenes uh, made by Kohler. Uh, but um, but I made some modification to it because uh, to to avoid uh, IP issue. Okay, so uh, first of all, you can walk from space to space. All right, you can edit walkthroughs. Okay, you can walk from space to space to make sure your clients can check on every details of your project of your design. Another thing is that you can also add a lot of different narratives to your walkthrough to guide. Uh, your clients through your project, okay? For example, I can add maybe some design tips, however you wanna present your proposal, all right? I can, uh, for example, I can guide them straight to uh, a website, 
any or any pages you want them to see yeah this would be a website this would be the website of Kohler and also you can direct them straight to a straight to a video that's also okay all right and another amazing thing is that you can add something like a product text okay so you can add a picture here you can also add some product descriptions maybe designer story uh, uh, technical information pricing information promotion information and you can also direct them straight to the ordering page of this product just like that and same thing with the bathtub okay basically anything inside all right and also you can add a lot of different options uh, in the panoramic walkthrough so that uh, so that uh, your your clients can have uh, more things to choose from for example if the customer is not liking this toilet he can click on option two you and change it to another one just like that very easily and um, basically anything in the scene okay for example if the customer is not liking the tiles in this background i can you can change it to panels very quickly just like that another am amazing feature and if i send this link to the chat okay let's see can I can I use the uh, the message function? I think I can. Okay, so uh, I've sent this link to the group chat. So if you uh, click on this link, you can see this panorama popped up on your computer. And also, if if it's not so convenient for you, if you have your cell phone with you, you can use your cell phone to scan this QR code, and then you will gonna and you're gonna be able to see this panorama on your cell phone. So I encourage everybody to try that. Yeah, scan this I'm doing it right now. It's okay, awesome. Perfect. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Yes, so our panoramic walk, our panoramas are completely mobile friendly, which allows uh, our users to share their creativity uh, on social media, on their blogs, on their websites very easily. It helps with, uh, helps with a lot of things personal marketing. Okay. So uh, I'm just gonna do some recap on that. So first of all, uh, AI House has a huge library, okay? But uh, you can also upload your own product models if you already have a lot of uh, 3D assets with you. You can upload, uh, we, can, we are compatible with Max and SKP, all right? And also we can just upload if you're, if you want to upload texture, you can just upload JPEG. And also the workflows, all the workflows are super easy to use, very intuitive, very straightforward, very convenient. And we also have a lot of different parametric modules like, like the ones I've just shown you uh, to help you customize all the details in your scene. And also the rendering is exceptional, okay? You can render 4K in less than five minutes. And you can also add it interactive and panoramic walkthroughs. And they're all mobile friendly. And of course, you can also uh, design in 3D and document in 2D. You can get CAD drawings, uh, bomb quotations, uh, shopping lists with a few clicks. And what's more, we can also do animations. Okay, you can actually render videos. You can do animated walkthroughs. So I'm just not gonna click on this. So this is what we can do uh, in AI House. We call it magic video. So first of all, it's based on real-time rendering technology, all right? So uh, what you see is what you render, all right? You can interact with your scenes and see the, re the result, the rendered results instantly. So you can make creative decisions in a more realistic uh, in a more realistic and faster way. And also, you can generate all different types of animated walkthroughs very easily, simply by adjusting camera angles, locations, 
and apply different animation movement formats, and then you can generate a video like this. And also it has ray tracing, all right? So if you look at the lights, the shades in here, you can see that everything is very, very realistic. And the good news is that we are also making it free for all AI house users. But this uh, magic video is not cloud-based currently because uh, it's very powerful. So it has, it also has higher requirements on your computer. But so this would be the requirements on your PC. I'm not, uh, I don't think a laptop can handle this. So if you have a nice computer setup, I would encourage you to try this because it's for free. As long as you are an AI house user, you can log into uh, Magic Video with your AI house account and work on your projects in Magic Video. And before we take some questions, uh, I'm just gonna uh, answer some frequently asked questions, okay? So uh, a lot of the designers would ask, like uh, AI house focus more on interior, but can it handle exterior? The answer is absolutely yes. We, have, we actually have a module for that. We call it free modeling. So I'm just gonna quickly walk you through it. I'm gonna open another project. Okay, so free modeling works. I would say it's very, very similar to SketchUp. So uh, it, it would be very familiar. It would be very easy for you guys to use this function. So for example, uh, I can, uh, just kind of, uh, yeah, just like that, okay? Works very in a, in a very similar way with SketchUp. And uh, you, can, you can draw whatever you want here. You can also import your uh, structural drawings in SKP if you're uh, in SketchUp, if you already have a lot of assets in your SketchUp. For example, uh, let's say, I can import, okay, I can also import CAD drawings, all right? This is a DWG file. Okay, this is a DWG file. And then I'm just gonna, let's make it 6,000 millimeter. All right, yeah. And then I can just keep importing, uh, importing uh, different elevation drawings from CAD also. Just like that. And I can also, I can also work from here. For example, if I want to make, make a hole here, so that it looks more like a window. Yeah, just like that. And I can also get inside a scene to take a look at what's inside. Oh, I don't think I have done this very hold on oh no okay this is right okay yeah I can get inside a scene to take a look just like that and from here I can also apply different texture to it all right Basically, it's very similar to SketchUp. I can also, you can also import very uh, complicated uh, 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 drawings. And uh, another thing is that you can actually work on an existing floor plan you have in AI House. For example, I'm just gonna draw a floor plan right next to it, all right? Okay. You can also work on a floor plan uh, in AI House combined with free modeling module so that you can create a lot of different designs here. Interior, exterior, uh, for example, uh, let's uh, enter this. I can create a multi-story multi structure very quickly with AI House. So first of all, let me just adjust my ceiling height. Oh, make it a little higher because I'm working on multi-story, okay? And then I'm gonna enter free modeling. 
So let's let's draw let's draw a rectangle here first, just to show you how easy it is to work on this module. And then I am going to let's draw a uh, rectangle, and I'm going to delete this area. And then I am going to stretch it a little higher. Okay, and then I'm going to group it. And after that, I can move it. I can create a different floor very easily. Say 3000 millimeter, just like that. So if I switch to roaming mode, you can see that I have created a structure like this. All right, so from here, I can uh, drag furniture inside, okay, make all uh, and add all kinds of designs in here. It's very easy. So I can also show you what you can do with AI House. So this would be uh, an interior design uh, made with free modeling module, okay? And you can see you can make uh, stairs, uh, platforms, just like that. You can also do things like, uh, you can also do things like this even, okay? And also for exterior, you can, I, I'm just gonna show you something created by our users in China, all right? You can create something like this. It's amazing. This looks amazing. I can end. And this is actually a walkthrough. So you can actually explore uh, different areas of it. Just like Beautiful. that. Yes. So uh, another question might be, how, how can you design with real branded products? So uh, for in independent designers, or if you're working for an independent uh, studio, well, you can actually, so if you're already working with some uh, furniture brands, furniture companies, you can actually uh, ask for 3D models from them and import these models or materials to uh, AI House very easily. And then, uh, and I think you can also uh, get a lot of that. Uh, you can also find these real branded product models from, uh, Sketch of 3D Warehouse. And after that, all you need to do is to drag and drop them to your projects and then render them and then maybe uh, generate all kinds of 2D documents to finish your proposal so that uh, you can present your clients with real products in your proposal. And also for furniture companies, AI House actually has team licenses. Uh, we call it enterprise licenses. So uh, your company can import 3D models uh, to uh, our library, create an enterprise library only for your team, which can only be uh, viewed and used by members from your organization. And after that, you can also uh, add all kinds of, uh, after you finish the proposal, you can, uh, just like I showed, you can add all kinds of different uh, n narratives in your panoramic walkthroughs to guide your clients to uh, guide your clients through the purchase process. You can guide them to an ordering page or whatever pages you want to show them. And we are also trying to make this whole process even uh, easier for everybody. So we also have this solution called Brand Gallery. And we are inviting uh, different brands to upload their 3D models to our public library so that all of our users can design with real branded products. And we are already doing this uh, in a lot of countries. And also in, in the US, we are also actively talking to uh, Kohler, okay? So uh, why use AI House? I'm just going to uh, emphasize on some of the, the values we can offer. First of all, it can save you a lot of time. You can work at least 80% faster than before. So if it, if it used to take you weeks to finish a proposal, a design, uh, it will now take you days, okay? And for render, if, if you're still spending hours waiting for renders, well, with AI House, you can reduce this time from hours to minutes. 
And second of all, you can also focus more on actually designing. Okay, you can focus more on your creative ideas because AI House has taken the tedious and repetitive works out of the equation. And also, you can we can help you achieve higher customer customer satisfaction because now with AI House you can deliver your proposal so much faster than before to your clients and and endless revision requests from your clients is not not that daunting uh, at all now because you can handle them very very quickly and the second value is that you can consistently engage your clients visually you can really add the wow factors to your proposal impress them with 4k pictures panoramic walkthroughs or even animated walkthroughs if you have a, a, a nice computer setup and of course you can it can help you get more business now you can embed uh, all the, the panoramic walkthroughs in your websites your blogs your social media or, or if you're working on a digital catalog you can also add that to your catalog and it would definitely make you stand out okay you can make a proposal pop because you're using all kinds of immersive and interactive visualizations you can actually get very creative on these visualizations and it also helps with branding whether if it's uh personal branding or company branding because you're more if you're now more efficient than your competitors and you're also more visual than the others and we can definitely help you stay ahead of competition because uh, AI House is upgrading all the time. It's on the cloud. And we also try to make sure all the users can enjoy our major upgrades for free. Okay, so we, we always try to keep the best software uh, at your disposal. So, so that's pretty much it, uh, Barbara. So uh, I'm ready to take some questions. Yeah, thank yes. you, Alice. Um, what a yeah, great presentation. Uh, thank yeah. you so much. This was, this was so entertaining. I can only imagine how fun uh, uh, interior designers are going to have. Um, we're still, you know, we'll, we'll stick around for question time. Uh, I want to take the screen briefly to show everybody where they can find um, AI House and Novage. As you can see, we have one year subscription, three months, or even one month subscription, they're affordable and uh, you just saw what you can do. And uh, to me, that's, you know, you're saving so much time that, that take my money, at least. <laughs> I, I want to design <laughs> my house. <laughs> anyway, so we're still yeah. waiting. Um, I also want to remind that uh, everybody that I'm recording this session and you can watch it again or share it with people um, and your business colleagues, uh, experts, um, share the recording. It's going to be on, uploaded on YouTube shortly. And um, I want to let you know that Noveg is so far the only reseller for AI House in the Noveg in, uh, in the US, and Noveg yes. is changing the way designers purchase 3D software, offering more um, choices, uh, more freedom, best advice, and faster service. So check us out at Noveg.com, and uh, especially if you want AI House, and if you want to try, uh, you know, give us a call. We have few um trial available we'll see just give us a call and you can talk us uh you know into giving you some some freebies i don't know um <laughs> just just you know uh give us a call and um there are no questions i'm shocked but considering how easy you made it look and all the questions you answered uh, you anticipated yes. <laughs> i'm not surprised yeah. actually so i'm yeah. gonna thank you again i'm gonna say goodbye to everybody thank you for joining us today and uh, looking forward to um, sell uh tons of air house uh, suites and um licenses because uh it's uh, you know, I know it's going to take off pretty soon. Uh, thank you so much, thank Alice. You. Have a great rest of the day. No problem. Bye-bye, no everybody. Problem. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.